figure out how to do a podcast this is our live first one so either we're gonna post it or we won't and it may be a trial but here we are he's in welcome welcome wrbn podcast wrbn podcast we're gonna be coming at you uh on the regular here soon so y'all be ready for that Anyway, this is my man Brad Darnell. I am Danny Boone from the band Rehab from Warner Robins, Georgia. Um, uh, Part of the Warner Robins Broadcast Network. And uh, we just figured we'd get in the groove that everybody else is in and try to start a podcast and have fun with our friends and let them into have a sip. So we're going to peel the onion is what we're going to do. Peel the onion. We are going to peel the onion. Don't be I'm going to sit Danny down and uh, see what's going on with him. People want to know. Want to maybe pop that top off. Maybe. <laughs> I think I'll pop. <laughs> maybe we can get him to pop his top yeah, off. That, <laughs> and we'll I, see what's going on. So, yeah. He, he, did, he took a photo shoot for me or did a photo shoot. I did a photo. Fo- I don't know how it is. He did the photo. Sh- he t- had the camera. And I'm sitting there. You know, you're posing and this and that, blah, blah, blah. And all of a sudden, he just goes, now, how about pop that top off? And I'm like, you sick bastard. It was really uncomfortable. I ain't going to lie. It was, it was in my very own- cringy, and that's the way I like to do it. But let's let's admit that you just fucking, you just fogged me out. And I mean, it was so bad. It was so bad. I was... It was so bad. It was like you shit your pants. I mean, uh, so here we are in his kitchen just doing a doing a photo shoot, um, and it's like he shit his pants, and I'm sitting here going, okay. It's like I shit my pants. Yeah, it's fucking... St- <laughs> you dusted the room, as they say. I farted. Yeah. This is getting it was, weird. It I was farted, bad. and you told me to take my shirt off. <laughs> <laughs> That's so bad. Not like, like it. Not I'm consecutively. Pictures, I fart. Not consecutively. And he's like, How about pot? <laughs> <laughs> are, are, are you trying to say that? I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm just going with did the, the facts Duke, and seeing how did shit. Did the Duke turn me mm. That's bad. I did. It didn't happen in that. It didn't happen in that order. I'm I think telling, it did. It did not happen that order. I think it did. First, I was just casually doing some pictures, and then casually, <laughs> and then it was just so bad. I thought, man, this guy had to just shit his pants, but nope, he did not. <laughs> I have, but several times. Not that day. Not that day. Okay. Anyway. So here we are. We want to get in. We, I really, really, really want to get into this. So let's 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 hunker down and start talking about your musical interest and all that stuff. And I want to I want to go from the start. And I really want to ask you. So how were you conceived? Oh. How were you conceived? Same way yeah. everybody else was. <laughs> no, like the. <laughs> Position, huh? The position. position. I'm just kidding. I'm I'm just kidding. No idea. I'm just Uh, kidding. Uh, I have a good memory. What what I want to know is where were you born? Warner Robins, Georgia. Are you sure? Yeah, I was born in Warner Robins, Georgia. Because I've read online it was Lafayette. What? (laughs) I'm kidding you. Laf Laf Lafayette. All right. Okay, man. So I was born in Lafayette. That's what it said. Or Lafayette, as they call it around here. <laughs> <laughs> is it is it Lafayette, Georgia? They call it Lafayette. Okay, and it's well, obviously Lafayette. That's where that's where they like, said you were born. I'm just I'm just relaying messages. So you were born in Warner Robins? 
This is starting to sound like a Leslie Nope. This is starting to sound like a Leslie Nope deal. Were you born here or not? I I don't know now. Uh, I landed on all fours at the top of a mountain, (laughs) crashed down in a thundercloud, and I'm just kidding. Um, I was born in Warner Robins, Georgia, at the Houston County Hospital. Okay. What I. Okay. I'm not. (laughs) What I've been told. I'm not arguing with you. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's cool. When when was that? 1969, May 31st, 1969. All right. 1969, what a cool year. Oh, yeah. That's very fun. What? What kind of corny shit is that? <laughs> this, yeah, this is our first one. He's trying to be all interesting and shit. You know no, I mean? I'm just 69. saying. <laughs> What a door. What a fucking dumb joke. Yeah, what a yeah. dumb joke that what was. What a great year. <laughs> <laughs> I was born in that year, so I'm just saying. Yeah. All right. Well, anyway. Yeah. Mm. Anyway. Mm. So, you were born in Warner Robins, Georgia. It's very true, too. Uh, and yeah. you grew up like most people born in 1969. Like, you know, um, <laughs> having no, a big wheel. No memory. <laughs> No memory of the shit because so many concussions. Hey, you were just fun. born. Okay. Yeah, so let's fast forward to like you when you were five. All right. All right. You had a big wheel, probably. Five. Or something like that. I had. Tell me, tell me you had a green machine. I did this have, conversation's I did over. Have a green machine. Uh, and I had a big wheel. What a fucking time. snob. Mm-hmm. Had a green machine. But we tore them bitches up. I remember. Yes. Anyway. Um, yeah, I had a green machine, and um, I was born in Warner Robins. What was the question? Saturday, April 22nd, rehab at the Branch House Tavern at 7 o'clock, Flowery Branch, Georgia. Come get it. Saturday, April the 29th, rehab at the Granada Theater at 7 p.m., Minneapolis, Minnesota, come get you song. <laughs> there we go. We riding, I think it was about big wheels, but let's move on to uh, my question. What I wanted to ask you is, what was the first? What was the first song that really made you feel it? You know, all up inside. <laughs> um. I mean, I don't know about all that. Um, I know the first song that I recall singing is Delta Dawn. And, you know, Delta Dawn, what's that flower you have on? Yeah, that was, I was probably around kindergarten that time. Uh, Maybe a little bit before that, I was. Oh, yeah, little Danny singing Delta Dawn. I can yeah. see it. Oh, I can man. see it. You probably had pipes yeah. back then. Uh, well, uh, I know that Daddy still calls her baby. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that meant, but. No, nah, but yeah, we uh, did. Uh, we I listened to a lot of music growing up, yeah. Okay, let's talk about the uh, so, let's talk about the kiss phase. All right, we all had it if you were that old, if you were that age. So, um, I read somewhere online. No, I know where I read it online. It's it's on your your bio on on rehab, but uh, it's talking about how you almost failed the fourth grade because of kiss. Yeah, um, me and a me and a friend of mine, Mark Deeb, and uh, actually. Uh, Pat Chastain was in that class too, so that was like a triple threat. And uh, the uh, we was we was bad. I mean, not really bad, but me and Mark were really creative, and we and he drew, and I drew as well. And he was into Kiss. I was into Kiss. He was into Mad magazines. I was into Mad magazine. Yeah. And um, popular back then, yeah. And uh, yeah, what Kiss would, record was it? Uh, I think Kiss Destroyer was the first one that 
uh, I was going, and I never could get past the first song. It was my favorite, Detroit Rock City. And it was my favorite one, and I don't know why. Uh, maybe because they wrecked at the end, but the the mental uh, video that it put with the cars jangling, with the keys jangling, and they get in the car and close the door, and it, you know they're and running it, through the uh, running through the radio. And it's it, kind of an anti drunk driving don't party song. Um, like you went to a rock concert and now you head on into a you know it's really a dark opening. And it was the first, uh, it wasn't the first record I ever got, but it was the first song on that album. What what was the first record you ever got? Uh, and I was five. For my fifth birthday, my grandfather bought me a record player because he got me, he got tired of me sitting in front of his in the in their house, and I would just listen to old records over and over and over, and I would be able to just trip out on it. I like to I like to listen to records. And Nothing like the sound of vinyl. Yeah, it was dope. And back then, some of them were acetate and just like old. I still got some of them. Um, but uh, we're in the boon box. If y'all didn't know, he's all pointing over here to his records or something. But um, the first song, the first record I ever got was Take This Job and Shove It. My grandfather bought it for me. And uh, Johnny Paycheck. Johnny Paycheck. And uh, I played it so loud. In my, and we lived like across from my grandfather. And uh, I would play it just loud. And we had windows open back then. Back then. That's an air conditioner. Yeah. Yeah, no air yeah, conditioner. Yeah. It's a window open a fan on. Yeah, attic fan. Oh, yeah. Attic fan. But anyway, so I would do that, and and I played it really loud, and he called on my first birth, on the on my fifth birthday when he, he gave me the record and the thing, and he called me. He said, man, you got to turn that shit down. He said, I can hear it all the way up here at the house. <laughs> And it was take this job and shove it. <laughs> and I, he wore you know, it out. I always felt like he gave me that as a reason, like as a uh, hidden message. Like of something to hey, go son, by in life. Yeah. Yeah. Like, take this job hey, and son, shove it your whole fucking life. You're yeah. like. <laughs> yeah. It's going to suck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not working here no more. No. Yeah. Man, I remember them playing that on the radio. It was such a big hit. Mm-hmm. So that was your first record. Take this job and shut. I, you know, I was always a mimic of all the people I would listen to. So that's really how I kind of. That, su- that, that, it was your first record. And it was the whole kiss thing. Which we were all into if you were that age, if you were, if you were like rock and roll. Mm-hmm. What what was next? And so I mean, you're what, let's say let's say you're I mean, you're still in Warner Robins. You're uh, what about, <sighs> play baseball, play baseball, play baseball, football, basketball. Um, at actually rewind back to the getting kicked out of our. Almost Hang failing, on, kicked out. What? Fa- almost failing fourth grade. Okay. Um, I was just real. I was easily distracted. I don't know. You know, some people call it autism. Uh, some people call it he can't sit still. Some people call it he's too smart. He needs to go to the focus group. And then when you get there, they kick you out of that. <laughs> Tell you, <laughs> no, he needs to go to the speech bus and learn how to talk. Oh, shit, they did that to me. Uh, no doubt. They did. They did it to me. And they, I, I thought it was always weird. There, and they're like, okay, say this. Say this. And I, I didn't really bitch because it was such an easy class. You, you say had to such. Get in a bus. Such. Yes. It was a green and white bus. Yeah, and you had to put these headphones on And sit around and, and, and go. Yeah, and, and make sounds. Yeah. 
And I always thought like, it was because I had buck teeth. But <laughs> that's strange. So you had it, speech class. Yeah, I had a, uh, you know. I'm sure you fucking aced like that. They couldn't tell what to do with me. And then Kiss came along, and then I was in fourth grade, and I wasn't doing well. And Were you dressing up like Gene Simmons and showing up to class? No. No, I, I, I dressed like Peter Chris. Uh, um, Peter Chris, the drummer. I, yeah, when I uh, went on. Uh, went on tour? No, when I <laughs> Hey, he's the going. old age joke. <laughs> That's good. I think that you should fucking come out like Peter Chris on tour one of these nights. Just totally, total makeup. <laughs> that would be great. Beth, what do you think about that? I hear you calling. Ah, then you can cover Beth. But I can't come home right <laughs> Why? now. You, sh- you would do that. <laughs> you would. Just can't find the sound. <laughs> On destroy, I was kind of like a fad, you know. It was like a, but <clears throat> because Mark Deeb could draw, and I felt competitive to draw with him. I learned how to draw Gene Simmons, and um, he could always draw way better than me. But um, I learned how to draw Gene Simmons, and it got to where we get spelling tests or science tests or whatever. You know, they give you a sheet with all these. Things to answer, and I just y'all just drew a picture of Gene Simmons. Draw a picture of Gene Simmons and send it and give it back to the teacher. I'm assuming you got a zero for that. Yeah, they <laughs> we weren't doing good. In fourth grade. They were like not a bad G. They weren't Kiss fans. And, I, and what it was is they had a, they had to separate us, you know. So I sat in the front, right by the teacher's desk. Mark sat, a, you know, over. They had to separate you. Yeah, group. over. It was bad. It was bad. I mean, I don't know how I ever got through school. And that was, that was what, fourth grade? Yeah. And then I went, uh, fourth grade. So did you have, uh, what was it, first through fifth? No, it was first through sixth. But um, then I, at, in fourth grade, they had to, my Parents came, intervened, or whatever, and sent me to Central Fellowship Christian Academy, which uh, was a great school. We won the state championship in basketball. I'll never know. But uh, really, yeah. Well, uh, that was ninth, uh, ninth grade. <coughs> that ain't really like a state championship. That's just a junior JV state championship. But we won that. Bitch. And uh, <laughs> he's talking about we JV did that as Christian. Okay, <clears throat> hang on. But so we went out there. I went out there to Central Fellowship and Central. Fe- what what grade? Fourth. And then I went back to public school after that because that was expensive. You know what I mean? And uh, Central Fellowship was kind of like a school back then. It was a Christian school, Christian based program. And uh, How, did you get along with the kids and everything there? No? Yeah, everybody was cool, okay. but they were all really what they were is um, a lot of troubled kids that didn't do well in public school. Yeah, but you know, yeah, what do I know? I was only in fourth grade. <laughs> well, <laughs> you were just in fourth grade. You didn't know much. Yeah. RehabTheBand.com, where you can get all of your news, tour information, music, videos, and our store where you can get all of your cool rehab merch. That's RehabTheBand.com. So, Don't fifth know grade. Much. So, so, fifth grade came and went. But I know I love you. Uh, sixth grade. So, middle school. Middle school. Uh, We're hitting the 80s. Now, middle school, seventh grade. I music went, started changing. I went back, yeah. Music started changing. 80s come around. Um, Pac-Man fever. <laughs> yeah. We had, we yeah, had Pac-Man, Pac-Man fever. fever, my fucking... Uh, well, you know. Uh, uh, Leonard Skinner died. Jake Giles band. You had uh, I remember yeah, ACDC, I, ACDC. Back in Black came out in 1980. Back masking changed everything. 
back masking. Y'all remember that record burnings and back masking and pe- playing records backwards. And I do like remember that. Marijuana, you smoke marijuana. <laughs> remember that? I do remember that. Yeah. If and, you play a record backwards, one of those things. Yeah. You yeah. got. You should do that. I don't. What am I gonna say? I mean, buy our records. Yeah. <laughs> well, what happened was they, uh, you know, they took uh, Judas Priest to court, and Judas Priest said exactly that. They said if this, if we were gonna back mask anything on this, we would put buy our records, but you know, we didn't do that. Buy our records, or you know, <laughs> makes sense. Children cut the grass for your parents, and they would all went out and did it. <laughs> anyway, just kidding. Oh my god! Mm-mm-mm. So you're so you were a star in fifth grade. I'm taking it. Oh, I don't know. I mean, I was just a kid. That got in I was just a kid. Little trouble and got in a few fights. Just a regular kid. I think we was just you know back then we was little boys were really really rambunctious. We used to sneak beers when we was little. Go to, like, you know, my parents had a friend named Jimmy Foskey. Yeah? Who worked at a... How old were you here? At a beer plant. A beer plant? So you yeah, used to buy s- six. His, yeah, it was six because his wife took us to and from school, Becky. And uh, they had a red Monte Carlo with a black top and uh he remembers all a maroon <laughs> monte carlo with a black top and um we'd all we i remember just riding in that car and listening to them. they had black seats on the inside and it was when it was hot them seats burnt the shit out your legs but we'd be riding when you had your cut off shorts on no we didn't wear shorts school that day you couldn't do oh that. it's a school yeah it was first grade oh shit and we'd be riding around, we are family, you know, listening to that, you know, and WRBN, the original radio station call letters. We were, that's what we was listening to, you know. Any KC and the Sunshine Band? KC and the Sunshine Band. I was all band. about some KC and Sunshine um, Band when I was in first, second grade. Uh, Pink Floyd would play, but, you know, commercial radio was different back then, and we would play, they would play, uh, just a mix of music it was good you know play some Otis Redding play some Bee Gees and they'd play some you know this and that and then you know pop radio was so much better back then it was so all over the place I think I think it was too just off memories but I'm very sure that the same complaint by artists was had back then I, I you know what I mean like the radio's garbage. You know, er, you know, everything's garbage to somebody. I like a lot of uh, uh, 70s? 70s jams. Uh, like, um, you know, just whatever. I like uh, Billy Joel. Like, you know, that's just... Billy Joel, you were just singing some earlier. He's a rapper almost. Like, it's like... Ah, Billy Joel, Billy Joel. Billy Joel um, shit. I started on the the greatest hits one and two. Make it'll make you love Billy Joel. Yeah, it's like an, there's certain albums that have no. You should cover a Billy Joel song. <sighs> would you do an '80s Billy Joel? Like, uh, <laughs> would you, or uh, would you do a '70s Billy Joel? For the longest time. <laughs> oh no! Oh. Oh. Time. Yeah. All right. Don't drink Pepsi. All these coke. You got the right one, baby. Dope. Maybe we'll get a sponsorship. Maybe off of we this. will. Maybe hey, we'll get a dookie. I doubt right, it. We'll, get, we'll get shit. We'll damn sponsor. <laughs> We're sponsored by doo doo. <laughs> <laughs> it's shit. <laughs> hey, and it's everywhere. And without <laughs> doo doo, you'd have no vegetables. All right. Time to get into unreleased music. All right. So. Uh, I haven't heard this in a long time. I actually forgot about it, and um, it's, I don't know, it's a weird time. When did this come out? 
I really have no idea uh, exactly. I would guess around 2005. <laughs> What'd you do? Look up on the thing? <laughs> no, I'm just fucking See, smart like that. Yeah. <laughs> That's why. It says um, on this on this this presentation <laughs> of this track, it says that this thing was a unreleased cuts volume two in 2005 okay well i if that's the artwork that was really on the thing it that was no the that artwork. that's that's not the artwork that was on there that's uh, old that's that's later artwork I've yeah i can't t-shirt. tell you we oh i've done a lot of i've got the t-shirt a lot of stuff but let's see what it sounds like because i'm curious uh, i hope it's not whack as fuck but it might be let me see Check it out. Oh yeah. Welcome to the quiet storm. I love the guitar on it already. It's so beautiful that you're so ugly. And it's so crazy that you're insane. And I'm so certain that I'm uncertain. And where I come from is where I came. And all I need to know is that I need nothing. Cause I got it all when I got none. There's so much greatness in every loser. Sometimes the bravest thing to do is but I'll fight till all the blood leaves my body, my mood swings. I get real things, get retarded. My teeth damn near grit till my jawbone splits. Try to keep my composure, come on, D, don't trip. I'm trying to get back to just being schoolboy cool, but folks want to play you like a do-boy fool. I'm leaning on liquor to stay in an even kill. Kill the whole bag of throw and I still can't even chill. Strength. Sometimes the winner wears the black eye. One more sober and I'll get drank. In one hand is your destiny. In the other hand, well, that's your fate. The truth may come a little early, son, but it will never be too late. I can be nice, but the flip side's hideous at times. My thinking murder is surrounded by idiots. I pray for patience, though. That thinking is ancient. Half these phonies acting all pimp because they ain't shit. I'm looking for in the pockets, but I can look you in the yeah. eye. Knock yours out the sockets if you give me a try. Life could be a kick in the balls. Your dreams stall out. Watching these assholes with all the cream ball out. the third caller, y'all call it. Who's <laughs> going <laughs> down here? Damn, Bobby, the company time barbecue. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. So, I was wrong. It was 2002. This comes from. This comes from the. Because we can. Yeah, like cause from cause we can that batch. Kind of fell That's, off the table. Yep, I could probably, for the most part, give you a little backstory on a lot of that kind of shit. I remember a time when I was a little kid. We was going swimming. My aunt was taking us swimming, and it was like I guess the first time it ever happened in my young life, and it was 
shot, sun shining like a mug, and it was just raining, like, you know, just wow. But it was sun shining. And we was in this little orange VW bug. We went to one of our friends' house to go swimming. And I thought it was so cool that I was in the sunshine, already wet from the rain, and I get to go swimming. And I remember just being like almost overloaded by that when I was a little kid. It was like, this is the craziest thing. I come up and it's rass. I don't know, you know, I could get, my imagination, you know, I was like, I'm a fireman. I'm going to turn a ship over and get everybody out or something. You know what I mean? You just, your mind goes, pew. So that's me. With that, we're going to wrap it up. And that's going to be the first one. It's in the bag, I think. All right. What y'all. do you think? I think, um, you know, if anybody out there wants to sponsor anything, we're going to work something out. If not, we were going to keep doing it. We're going to do some episodes to keep putting them out and uh, rehab addicts. You know, tell everybody to get with WRBN. And, uh, hey, y'all come subscribe, like, share. Come check out our Patreon. We will see you next time.